Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Today we will learn to create dark and light theme switcher in our Flutter application using provider. And we will persist the chosen theme using shared preferences so that when the user opens the app for the next time, the theme that they chose would be permanent. Let us get started. Here I have created a simple demo project that has switch list style that allows us to switch between dark and light mode which is not working at the moment and there is a card and there is a button and floating action button just to demonstrate how it looks on dark and light theme. So right now I'm using the dark theme here where in theme dot dot I have created two themes light and dark just supplied primary swatch accent color and scaffold background color for light theme with brightness light and in dark theme the brightness is dark and I have supplied primary and accent color. So let me just change this to light theme from dark. So if we change this, it hot reloads and we can see how it looks in the light theme. So our job is to make this switch work so that when user turns on the dark mode, the dark mode theme is applied, dark theme is applied and when they turn off the dark mode, light theme is applied. Along with that, whenever user changes this theme, the chosen theme should be persistent using shared preferences. So let us get started. In theme.dart, I would like to create a change notifier that will allow us to change this dark and light theme. So first, class theme notifier it should extend change notifier. Okay. Let us instantiate few of the things, few variables. First, the key to save in the shared preference. Theme. Let's make it theme. Then, shared preferences preps and we have already created theme data let us create another variable that says whether the light or dark theme is used for that we'll just use a bool dark theme if dark theme is true then we use dark theme otherwise light theme let's make it internal and let's instantiate let's make a constructor for theme notifier where we'll set dark theme true. Next, let's make a function that will toggle the theme. Toggle theme. What this will do is underscore dark theme will equal to not underscore dark theme. So if it's true, it will make it false. If it's false, it will make it true. Next. let us notify listeners. Now in here what we would like to do is let us provide our change notifier using provider. So let me wrap this with new widget. Change notifier provider and use create function. If you are using provider version below 3.2 then you will have to use builder instead of create. I am using the latest version. So here theme notifier. Okay. We will need the consumer right here because theme is applied up here. So we will need consumer here also consumer theme notifier and builder sorry context notifier and 
child that is vz here this should return instead of child here return this and what we'll do is if notifier dot this notifier should be type of theme notifier so if notifier dot oh, okay we need a getter for our notifier dark theme dark theme if notifier dot dark theme is true then use dark otherwise light so our dark theme is true currently down here again we will wrap this switch list style with a consumer wrap with widget consumer let's make this builder so context notifier child and this should just return this switch style and value should be notifier dot this notifier should be, consumer should use theme notifier so down here notifier dot dark theme if dark theme is true then dark theme is turned on and in on changed notifier dot toggle theme okay so let's try this okay so now our dark and light theme toggle is working so using this switch we can switch to either dark mode or light mode however if we hot restart this app if we switch to light and hot restart this app this will again go back to dark mode this is because we have set dark mode to true in our theme notifier however what we would like to do is we'd like to persist whichever theme is chosen by the user in the shared preference so that next time when they open the app their chosen theme is persistent or loaded so let us do that first we will create two functions one to load this chosen theme from shared preference and next one to save to set preference so let us create a load function load from preps here first we would like to make this async and we would like to initiate our preference so await initiate preference so let us make that function In it prefs let's make this a sync huh? and in the init prefs if prefs equals null if preference is null only then we would like to do prefs equals await set preference dot get instance because if it's already initiated we don't want to do anything next we have the init preference then here would like to get underscore dark theme equals preps dot get bull our key is created at the top if it is null then by default let's make it true so by default dark theme will be applied uh, otherwise whatever is in the Prefs, so we would like to notify listeners next we'd like to create a save to prefs so whenever theme changes we'd like to save it to set preference it's easy again a thing await in a prefs if it's not in initiated then set bool and value will be underscore dark theme let's make this prefs also 
internal variable private okay so we have save and load functions what we'd like to do is whenever we instantiate theme notifier we'd like to load from prefs and whenever we toggle theme we'd like to save to prefs so that it is persistent so let me hot restart now okay we get a missing plugin exception because after i added shared preferences i had not rebuilt let me rebuild the project okay the app has built and it's running so now by default we are in dark mode let me switch to light mode and now let me hot restart so it should persist this theme okay so even after hot restart we are getting the same theme this is because we have saved it to shared preference and loaded it from shared preference so no matter how many times you hot restart or if you even exit the app and reopen it it will work so let's try dark let hot restart again see it's working if so this is how easily you can create dark and light theme switcher during runtime using provider and shared preference thank you everyone for watching this tutorial so your support by like and share subscribe thank you